Hey everyone, it's Job. Welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk about and show you how I journal on Sunday mornings. I know it's such an odd and specific day uh, of the week to show how I journal on Sundays, but I feel like Sunday mornings are the best. I mean, Maroon 5 has made a whole song about it, but Sunday mornings are always like an optimum time for me to journal. It's really some nice um, introverted time to spend with my journal, and I will actually be very indulgent and spend like a few I was gonna say minutes but maybe it's even hours just like journaling and doing stuff that is creative and that fills my bucket and fills my soul so uh, today I wanted to show you how I documented a recent pen shopping trip to Gastown I went to Gastown I think it was the Saturday so this is like one day after and I'm journaling about my experience going to Gastown and buying a new pen from Vancouver pen shop I will show you that pen that I got in a little bit but I wanted to just um, show you what um, the setup is like right now so I'm using my travelers no Notebook and I'm using my paint palette. Um, this is a watercolor palette from Shinhan. I've had it for years. I bought it in Korea and it is almost in its last leg. You can tell that I have no more like yellow in this uh, this palette because I love yellow a lot. Um, but yeah, it's a trusty palette that I really like um, in terms of watercolors for beginners. Uh, and I actually I'm using this today because I've been using gouache a lot on this channel and I have realized that I don't really remember how to use watercolors anymore so I decided to get my watercolor palette and use it today. As you can see I am sketching away, sketching my little heart away. We are trying to do like an urban-ish sketch and this was a struggle. I think I always want to try new things in my journal that doesn't always translate in a journal page or spread that i'm really happy with i liked the act of doodling this uh, little urban landscape i actually had a picture of this nice like street urban photo um at Gastown and I thought I would try drawing it and it was really hard. I don't know anything about urban sketching at all. I have been wanting to for the longest time to learn more about it um, but I thought sometimes it's better to just go in blind and just go for it so I decided to just look at a picture and try to interpret why did I say that way uh, to kind of translate that um, photo into my own drawing and it was fine but it took me a long time so the clip that you're watching is actually I think sped up to a thousand percent because I took a really long time trying to sketch this uh, this little scene out i used a pencil i used a fancy schmancy blackwing uh palomino blackwing pencil you can use any other pencil that you have and then i went in with a waterproof pen my waterproof pen of choice are the pigma microns uh, but if you have a heavy and not, not heavy grip a heavy hand so if you press really hard on your pens um i would maybe look at a different option because these pigma microns are felt tip and if you have a finer tip like the one that i'm using i'm using the 0.1 tip it is tiny and you can probably go through a lot of pens just because uh the nib is so tiny and it's so fragile so if you press too hard it might just break or flatten the nib so um i've had this for a while but it's been a, a journey using this pen because i have a pretty heavy hand when i write and when i journal and draw and whatnot and so i had to remind myself today to just you know have a very light feather like touch while um inking this doodle and this is where things kind of were going all right i really liked the inked version of my sketch but like any other um thing that you create um without you know having prior training on it or like research or practice things are kind of going well and then things just turn south real quick so when i decided to paint it i immediately <laughs> regretted it just because i have not used watercolors in a while and i just haven't had the same not exposure but it's kind of like exercise right like the more you watercolor the more you kind of get used to it and i haven't watercolored in a while and so it felt like me not exercising for a really long time like the muscle memory was gone it was like trying to ride a bike after like 20 years uh, i'm not a, an expert at watercoloring whatsoever i just kind of 
try my best and learn different techniques and stuff um, through actually just playing around in my journal. I'm a very firm believer that sometimes practicing in your like journal is the best because um, it makes you want to, I don't know, at least for me, it makes me n- not afraid to like make mistakes because i don't know sketchbooks freak me out because i feel like every page needs to be beautiful um, i know that's not the case like sketchbook is sketchbooks are supposed to be places of um like practice and exploration but i don't know i've made up my mind that sketchbooks need to look perfect um but i'm still trying to you know get past that um but yeah this sunday morning was the perfect chance to kind of play around um and have a very low stakes kind of journaling session um, because I didn't feel like this needed to be perfect and you know what it's okay I might I'm not really happy with the end product um, but this was a good attempt at drawing and uh, painting with watercolors again so I'm still proud that I did it and you know what that's the best part right with journaling and um, all creative things sometimes just the act of doing it feels better than the actual end result and now I'm gonna say the cheesiest quote that I love the journey is the destination Uh, but it's so true it doesn't I feel like it doesn't ring truer truer sorry I said that a little bit odd uh, truer than when you are like learning a new skill or like practicing a new skill because um sometimes the process is so much more important than the end product um but we are nearing the end of this painting session we actually did like three pages in my journal so this is like the first part of it um but i'm going to show you a little bit of my haul i bought a pen and ink sample and i want to show you the pen that i got in a little bit and i also want to talk about the ink that i purchased obviously it's just a sample but i want to talk about it as well so let's listen to past job I definitely underestimated how quiet past Job is. I thought he was going to be a little bit more chatty, but he went for a little bit more of an ASMR feel. Uh, no shade to that past Job, but I should probably tell you what I purchased. This is the limited edition 2022 Lamy Safari in the cream colorway. It came in two colors, actually, the strawberry color and the cream color, uh, hence the name strawberries and cream. Um, but I thought that I would just get one. Uh, because it's a little bit more reasonable to purchase one fountain pen at a time, but I ultimately want to get both because I think a red fountain pen would be really awesome to add to my collection because I do have a lot of like yellows and greens and like demonstrator pens, but I don't have anything in red. And red is an awesome color. I love a good like warm toned red or like a darker red, Um, but maybe that's just Taylor Swift's influence over me right now because the red album was awesome uh but yeah anyways let's talk about the ink that i got i was a little bit more restrained i bought an ink sample rather than an ink bottle this is sailor ink studio uh this is the 373 ink so if you're new to sailor ink studio all of the inks are actually in like numerical order and i believe the first digit in like the three digit number refers to how dark or how saturated um a color is um so like one being like the lighter uh like inks and then i think if you go up it's a little bit more darker i don't know i'm i am not an expert on ink studio inks i do love ink studio inks i love how juicy they are i have i think two bottles i have sailor ink studio 670 which is like an olive oil chartreuse color and then i have um the um like brother or sister ink to this ink right now that i'm swatching for you i have sailor ink studio 273 which is a little bit lighter and i actually really like 273 it is a good dupe for um color versus brunch date um so if you're looking for like a like brown 
pinky warm brown shade i would go for the lighter version of this ink that i'm showing you right now but i think sailor ink studio 373 is like a nice kind of like grayish brown it's still a proper brown but it's definitely um more uh gray leaning um, and it has the faintest purple in it so like when i swatched it out you can't really see it on uh video right now but when it dries down there's the faintest purple um in it where you have the more saturated parts of um the ink swatch or when it shades a little bit more in your fountain pen um sorry that i think i'm getting a little bit jargony i don't really know what i'm saying i'm still like a fountain pen noob even though i've owned the fountain pens for many years but yeah this is a nice beautiful brown ink um and i've been really loving like these like mousy brown inks that have like a little bit of gray in them i think they look really nice and it kind of um plays well with my ink palette that leans to a little bit more of the warmer toned colors because this is like more of a neutral brown but yeah this is the ink that i like and this is the ink that i have in my uh strawberries and cream actually no just the cream uh Lamy safari but let's go back to journaling job thank you ink swatching job we're back to the journaling job over here uh, as you can see we are now working on another spread just because i thought that the painting or doodle of uh the street wasn't enough to document my day because you know i did get a new fountain pen i got a new ink and i took a whole bunch of photos i feel like i do that every time i head into like a different part of town or into some shops that i like i always take a whole bunch of photos uh to document the day and so i printed those out before uh this journaling session and i just cut them out i think you've probably seen in a lot of like flip throughs recently on this channel that i've been really liking these small thumbnails uh, size photos just because printing out a large photo is nice and I really love the look of it but sometimes I have a whole bunch of photos that I want to add to a page and having one large photo um, leaves the spread feeling a little too cramped and I end up just having like one singular photo on the page which is fine but I want to make the most of all the photos that I like and I'm also really bad at editing down photos that I take. I don't know about you but my camera roll just has like a million photos of the same thing just because I want to get like the right angle. It's a habit that I'm trying to break because usually one photo is enough but um, I wanted to print out all these photos because there are too many that I enjoyed and I wanted to really document this day and so I printed out these small thumbnail photos and I anchored them with this small piece of washi this is actually from like a like a washi booklet like it's kind of like a small like post-it size actually smaller than a post-it size um booklet that had like washi stickers on it and i just tore this like pink sunset up and it just kind of looks like some brown pinky paper um behind the photos and i think it turned out great i also pulled the blue from my happy hour photo i took a, a photo of my uh, margaritas that i had that day and it's like this lovely bright bright and vibrant blue and so i wanted to tie that into this spread and so i thought it would be like a natural pairing or color palette for this spread to pull out that blue in that photo so i went with a pink blue and beige theme for this spread i did some lettering in that same blue uh, to match the stamp ink that i was using and just to preface everything all of the inks that i am using are sachihara brand and i'm also um, using stamps from lcn and the star circle uh no the star stamp that i use for everything is actually just from michael's i believe it's from like a random clear acetate sticker not sticker uh stamp uh pack that i bought like years ago uh, but i did my journaling um in the negative space and i also just use my pencil board to protect the spread because sweaty hands club is real and i definitely end up smudging a lot of the sachihara ink um and the watercolor to it'll reactivate because i have very sweaty palms so i used my pencil board to protect the page and um, i really like how there's you know no blank space in here and that the the writing and the text kind of just weaves around the photos uh, but that is our journaling spread or i guess two and a one and a half journal spreads for um this lovely shopping trip um it was really nice to kind of paint again and 
explore different types of mediums in my journal. I haven't really watercolored in a while just because I've been using gouache and it was fun to doodle that Lamy fountain pen using, you know, the fountain pens, uh, not the fountain pens, the fountain pen ink. Uh, I used it to uh, do the line work as well as use the watercolor to uh, color in that pen. But yeah, that is the completed spread. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope you felt a little inspired to try something new in your journals. Um, do you journal on Sundays or do you have a special day where you dedicate um, a lot of time to journal? I hope um, you do share in the comments what your special journaling day is because I, I would love to know and I will see you in the next one. Hopefully we are unboxing some new limited edition traveler's notebooks. Fingers crossed that I have it by that time. But until then, I will see you next time. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.